Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a sticker storage video for you guys. This has been requested quite often in the past from some of my older videos and on Instagram whenever I show a little bit of my sticker storage. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys a more in-depth version of what I do for my stickers. Um, I did change it up compared to how I was showing it in one of my uh, plan with me videos, like a quick setup, but I do still have some of that left over. If you're not familiar with what I was talking about in that video, I used these sticker binders, well they're actually called photo albums, but I used these from Michaels and they're like 200 pages and you could put stickers in here. So I used these in the past for a lot of my Bubble Bear Studios doodle sheets and I changed it up because I needed something better and something that I can use to hold all of my stuff from Bubble Bear Studios and some of my other items from different shops. So I changed it up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I use for all of my stickers. First, I wanna go ahead and show you guys these sticker albums or these photo albums. These are from Michaels like I had mentioned just a little bit ago and they usually are $10 and I think I get them whenever they're like buy one, get one half off. So I have two of these right now that I use. One is for a lot of my like quarter sheet size stickers from various shops, so that's what's in this one. And then this one here with the Bubba Bear Studios photo album cover, I use these for my samplers that I have from her shop. So I have a lot currently and I just like to store them in here so that I just have them all in one place. So I'll quickly go through this one. But like I had mentioned, these are photo albums and they're meant for the 4x6 photos and they work perfectly for half sheets or smaller sized um, sticker sheets which I love so much for this because they're so easy to just store in here but like I had mentioned this one is in particular is meant for my Bubba Bear Studio samplers so I just have a ton of her samplers from However long I've been ordering from her, I just have them all in here and I like to keep them separated by each type of sampler. So I have a ton of like the posse samplers, some exclusive samplers that she did with other shops and stuff like that. I have them all in here and they're just all separated by the type of I guess the different sampler that they are and these are the latest two that she has so I just store them all in here as I get them and I love it because it's just easy to just grab this and pull to put some in my planner whenever I know I'm going to use a couple of them and just have them on the side so that's the smaller one and then this one here is more it's actually almost full and these are for other shops that I have. So the first shop I have in here is the Coffee Monsters Co. I have this one from her shop and it's like a date sticker but it's bigger than her normal size sheets so I just stuck it in the side here. And I also did put one of the adhesive sticker pockets, or not sticker pockets, but one of the adhesive pockets from the Target dollar spot I think it is. Somebody sent this to me and I put them in here for her smaller size samplers. So I just have them stored here and then I just have all of her stickers that I have of hers currently in here. I left a couple of spaces for stickers I know that I want to pick up later or in the future so I just have those. And then it goes into, like I had mentioned, I just organize it by shops. So it just goes into different shops that I have. Um, if I notice myself having a larger collection of their stickers, I'll end up moving it. But right now, I think this is working for me to hold all of my various shop stickers. These are all once more with love back here. And like I mentioned with the Coffee Monsters Co., I left spaces for different stickers that I might get from her. And then I have some random pieces in the back. Same thing that I did up front with the Coffee Monsters Co. samplers. I did with the um, Once More With Love ones and put them in like one of the Target spot adhesive pockets. So those are these albums and that's what I use these for now. In one of my past videos I mentioned this sticker binder here with all the Bubba Bear Studio stickers on it used to be the binder or photo album that I used for all of my Bubba Bear Studio doodles but it wasn't easy to expand and 
I ended up outgrowing this and needed to get another one, which is what this one was. Um, so I ended up just taking them out and putting them into the binders that I showed earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the binders that I have. Okay, so these are the binders that I have. These are regular sized binders, like the binders that you get for school and they hold the regular eight by 11 sized paper in them. And I love this setup. I'm actually so glad that Alexis or Lexi from Show Me the Stationery showed um, me and some of the other PR girls this storage idea. So I'm so excited, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through it for you. This binder with one of the Bubba Bear Studio Doodle cards is sh different shops. So this is a bunch of different half sheet size stickers that I have from various shops. And then this one with another Bubba Bear Studios little doodle. Um, this is the cover that she sells in her shop. Are all Bubba Bear Studios. And I will just go ahead and start with the various shops. Okay, so this binder is a three inch, I think it's a three inch binder. Yeah, I think it's three inch. I just got this at Target, I just picked it up because I wanted a bigger binder, but it's one of the ones that the rings are like attached to the back versus on the centerpiece because I like how it's just easier to open and they're less likely to crack in the creases with this type of ring set up, so I just have that in there. And then um, in the pocket here on the side, I just have these stickers from um, Heather Ann Plans. I just have them in here because they are a little bigger than a quarter size or they're smaller than a half size. So I just stuck them here because I do use these quite often and I wanted to just have them on hand whenever I wanted to grab them. And then I just have some other stuff that I got sent to through um, Happy Meal. So I just have these regular basic dividers. They are nothing special. They're like the ones that you use from school. I actually had these left over from one of my college class binders. So I decided that I would just take it out of there and use it in this binder. Hopefully later on, whenever I get some time, I will make my own dividers and make something a little more prettier than these, but for now they will work. So my first section I have here are um, Lexi Kylie design stickers. And uh, let me explain what I have. So these are inserts that I got off of Amazon. Lexi showed these to myself and some of the PR girls from Bubba Bear Studios. These inserts, and they have been amazing. Like. Ever since I got these, they changed my storage, uh, my sticker storage game. I've been loving them so much. They're amazing. They're just so perfect for what I need. A lot of the stickers that I have are half sheets. And um, as you'll see whenever I show you my Bubba Bear Studios binder, they work good for quarter sheets too. So they're just inserts that are like slit in half basically. So you have an insert page here. So you can put some down here and then you have these up here. So they're just two slots basically. So this first section are all of my Lexi Kelly Design functional stickers. So I have them um, front and back for each insert and they're just all in here. I have no particular order. I just stick them in here as I get them and um, it's just been working for me. So the next one is all of my Lexi Kylie Design kits that I currently have or will be using soon. So I just have these in here. Since the kits are just a little more pages per um, insert, I decided to keep it one per slot instead of one on the front and one on the back, which is fine, I don't mind. My next section is Moonlight Paper Co. Moonlight Paper Co. stickers were a little bigger than half size, so I ended up having to cut a lot of them down, which I don't mind because I know they're all from her anyway. So you'll see some that look a little funky. It's not because they were sent to me like that. They were actually just because I had to cut them. So usually her stickers on the bottom are like these, but this one I had to cut down. So I have all of my Moonlight Paper Co. stickers um, in this next section. And then I have her kits here. So I didn't really want to cut this one down because some of the pages have stickers that go like almost all the way to the edge on the top and bottom. So I decided to just kind of like stick it in here and it's fine. It doesn't really slip out or anything. 
My next section are multiple shops that I have that have half sheets and I love to pull from. So I just put them in here because I pull from them often. So I just have a couple of Aria Daydream stickers, Rory's Sweet Addiction, uh, Crest Press stickers, some Shop Jessica Hearts, uh, Mandy Dreams, Little Miss Papery, and then I have Blanket Planner and then a few various sheets of Crafts Pie Thawi back here. And then I have this one sheet of the Planner Junkie coffee stickers. And then the rest of these are going to be all kits that I use often or fit not use often, I don't use these kits often, but um, kits that I have in mind to use in my planner eventually, like I have them marked down for future weeks that I want to use them, and um, some that I just wanted to stick in here. So this one, this first section of kits are just various different shops. So I have some um, Two Little Bees planner gems down here, Shop Jessica Hearts, I have some station stickers, Caress Press, and then some more station stickers kits, which I'm so excited for these. These are so beautiful. My next section are still kits, but they're all Little Miss Papery kits. I have a ton of her kits that I've been holding on to for like ever, and I decided that I would just go ahead and put them all in their own section. I don't know when I'll use a lot of these. Like I don't have a specific week that I plan to use these so I decided that they'll just be fine in their own section so these are all little miss papery that I have and then I have some more back here and these are all kits that I don't have specific weeks for so that one section that had various kits in them I have specific weeks for them and I don't know when I will use them yet so are you I know when I'm gonna use those ones so this section I don't know when I will use these so I just have them all in here so I have a bunch of Magnolia Boulevard um, a Planner Bell Press a Scribble Pence Co sticker kit Erica G designs I'm planning like a pro and then these back here are adorable Amy designs and then one GP sticker studios kit in the back there so that's this binder and it's just various shops. I love this setup. It's so easy to use and it's so easy to expand. My my sticker collection is like constantly growing and it's easy to um, just be able to put stickers in here without having to like move the whole collection and reorganize the whole thing. It's just really easy and convenient so I'm so happy with this sticker binder setup. So that's the first binder that I have, my first three inch binder. I'm planning to buy another binder. I think I'm gonna buy like a one inch binder that I can take, put some of these extra sheets that I have, these little inserts in there, and um, put stickers that I'm using for the week in it so that I don't have to constantly grab this big old three inch binder and move it around or whatever. And also when I travel for work, it'll be nice to have just like one small little one inch binder of stickers that I use um, quite often or will be using that week. Easily available for me while I'm traveling. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my Bubba Bear Studios binder. Okay, so this is my Bubba Bear Studios binder and, and it's the same size as the other one that I showed you. Three inches or four inches, I can't really remember. Same setup with the dividers. These again are just like your basic school dividers. I'll just go ahead and go through these. So the first section with this blue divider are all my Bubba Bear Studio doodles. So these are all the quarter size sheets of doodle stickers that I have. They're all in here. The website or Amazon did have inserts that were like um, eight slots instead of just two slots. I might pick those up, but right now I'm, I'm satisfied with the two slots uh, option that I have here, but it'll be nice to not have to worry about these like slipping in here and like moving or whatever, but for now these will do. So these are all the doodles that I have from Bubba Bear Studios currently, and the way that I organize these, they're like, they're not tabbed and organized really, but I just have all the doodle girls all in one section and then I have all of the beans like her bean doodles all in one section and then it goes into the bear doodles 
So I'll just have a bunch of her bare doodles in one section. And then it goes into, from the bears, it goes into other emojis that she might have or like various samplers. So there's a flower, or not flower, raindrop emojis here. And then it goes into flowers. You have the catacorns. And then you have some owls. And then it just goes into various other doodles. Um, I think I have all of her like expression type of girls in one section here. So these are all her doodles. And I think the main reason why I wanted to keep them in this half sheet size are these two slot ones is because I do have doodles like these, these sheets here that are bigger than quarter size, but they're small than the half pages so they're perfect in here to um, store in so I like to just keep them in here and then you have this the monochromatic samplers and then more stickers more 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 so this is my current setup for the doodles that I have of Bubba Bear Studios I have a ton and this binder setup like I said was so easy to like expand as you saw, I have a couple of blank spots, um, like here, I have a blank area right there, and it's just easy, so I can put a sticker there and then put another sheet in here without having to like reposition every sheet that I have, so I'm loving that so much. So the next section I have are all her functional stickers, and they're all half sheet sizes, and the way I organize these are by the work smirk stickers, and then you go into the appointment boxes, blank schedule boxes, you have more appointment, don't forget, and then I go into quarter boxes, which my goodness, I love her quarter boxes, they're like one of my favorites, and then you go into the one third boxes, and then half boxes, which I have a ton, ton, ton and then after the half boxes I have these um, attention grabbers in here and then I have some movie marquees and then some script stickers and then I have the um, full box size stickers and these are just dashed full box sizes I have these habit trackers clipboards and then I have all of her quilt full boxes here and then I go into checklist so I have in here, I have a bunch of checklists from like all her kits in here and I like to pull these into various um, spreads that I'm doing. It's just nice to have those on hand just in case. And then the next and last section in this binder are her kits. So I just have all the kits from her shop, not all of the ones that she currently has, but all the ones that I have are all in here. So I just stick them in here and um, just put them here. I don't really have any particular order really for these, but I just love how they're so easy to store in here. So that's my Bubba Bear Studios binder. So I just love how easy this setup is to expand and just really, it just lets you, it's more like customizable and just easier to deal with. So that's my sticker storage. Yeah, I pretty much skipped out on all the mini binders now I don't have those anymore and I don't use the albums that much unless I'm buying quarter sized sheet stickers from other shops so I'm really loving this whole sticker binder setup and as it may seem like inconvenient to have this big old hunky thing but I really don't carry this around with me like ever it doesn't go out of the house so it stays in my office and I just keep it here, which is kind of the reason why I want to get one of the smaller binders so that I can put stickers that I do use often in a smaller binder and have that as my to-go binder. So that's all of my sticker storage. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to see what like my Rascal cart looks like or have any questions on how I store anything else like washi tape and stuff like that definitely let me know and leave a comment down below I'll be happy to show you guys um, I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye